What is poppin' everybody? You got Count Yuri here, back with another, I guess, sort of guest upload for Dark Reach, uh, for another NU SPL game. Uh, Z plus V versus ICT. I think it's uh, Quarionicles versus Congregation of the Classiest. Um, ICT being Quarionicles, I think? Not too sure. Um, I think it's at the end of the video, so we'll see. Um, Anyways, let's take a look at these teams first. Uh, they both brought pretty interesting teams. Uh, Z plus V brought a more you know, standard looking team, a more bulky offense, sort of like a team I would use to be honest. Versus ICD, which brought a, a sort of bulky offense, but it could be like standard like offense with uh, Palisand. Because you don't know if it's like offensive, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> if it's offensive Garbodor or not. But looking at it, it's probably like defensive uh, Zatu, like a defensive core of the right three and offensive of the left three. Um, his rocket could be Pelisand or Archaeops. I'm interested to see what it would be. Archaeops is not that common in NU. Um, it doesn't have an item, as you can see, so it's definitely uh, acrobatics. Um, so it's not Sash lead, at least. That's something to note. Furthermore, Klinklang ha Klink has a really good matchup for this thing because there's no there's no steel resist. Obviously, Garbodor likes to take uh, gear grinds because Rocky Helmet twice and also Aftermath. Probably Rocky Helmet Zatu too. Thinking about it, but either way, not no not bad at all. Uh, what else is there? Ariyama is not the best matchup. Houndoom. Well, there's a Garbodor, so that's always hard. So let's see what they lead off with. I'm really interested if uh, Archaeops is still a lead because, like as you can see, it's not focused. So I don't know. It could also be an offensive lead by ST. As for Z plus V, what I would lead is. Uh, well, you never want the you never you never want the Ghost Lord in because you don't really have a switching right. Your your uh, dragon resists are Steelix and Clinklang, both of which do not take a Draco Meteor. If this is spec Draco Meteor, it basically gets a kill. Av Hariyama, Hariyama also tanks um, at least one Draco Meteor, but either way, none of his mons want to switch into it. So what you don't want to do is uh, lead with something that lures in Ghost Lord. I think anyway. So let's see what happens. Have fun. Blah blah blah. Um, Phoenixor's matchup is also kind of eh, <laughs> but I'm interested to see what it would be. It could be Z Phoenixor, it could be Z Slowbro too with Calm Mind. Even Z Houndoom. Z, wow, he has a lot of potential Z mons. I'm thinking it's Pedef Phoenixor, so it can also take on Helodisc. He does lead with Houndoom, which I find kind of interesting because I figured that, you know, you don't want Guzzard coming in. Um, Archeops obviously outspeeds Houndoom and threatens to kill it. Z plus V could choose to go out into Celix. Uh, even Slowbro works very well. Uh, I still could just Yuchun here. Uh, he could be rocks, but I really think the Palisand would be his rocks if this is acrobatics. Um, it still could be though. Probably I still would Yuchun here because he doesn't lose anything if Houndoom stays in, he gets to bring in Ghost Lord. And if Z plus V switches, then I still can go to something accordingly. For example, um, if you switch to Slowbro, you get in Ghost Lord anyway. If he switches into Steelix, you get in something like Zatu. And it is Scarf Houndoom with Dark Pulse. It obviously brings him into the Fetist, but he knows now that it's Scarf, which is really valuable. He might still have Roost, and he gets initiative. He gets to bring out Gothard, for example, which tanks the Dark Pulse. He could also go out into Toxicro and threaten him, but Toxicro does get in the Slowbro again. So I would probably go out to Gothard and just click Draco, to be honest. I don't think he lose much at all. I don't know if this is Specs. It could be a Z move. Looking at the team, it's a potential Z move user. Obviously, Toxicro would be one as well, or even Offensive Garbodor. Um, and I even don't know if it's special or physical, but I would throw off a Draco. Draco. Oh, Dark Pulse. Great. Nice. 68% to Steelix. Now, as you can see, his only Dark Resists are Hariyama and Houndoom. Hariyama is a pretty decent switch in now, especially if it's AV. Uh, but either way, Ice-T could also switch out into Zato here, which is very safe on both the Steelix and the Hariyama switch in. Now, if C plus V stays in, he could very well just die. As Ice-T decides to Dark Pulse again, do 32 to Hariyama. Ah, I was gonna say that's flame of Ariyama. That's not that's not AV at all. As he decides to knock off on the uh, uh, Palisand, but it's not doing anything because Palisand is just really really bulky. The next knockoff is gonna do slightly more, but he could just shore up. Yeah, gets back to full. Phoenixor gets back in. Now it doesn't do that well because there's a Garbodor as well as a Toxic Oak. So let's see what he wants to do. He clicks HP Ground. Very nice mid ground play. Very nice. Um. Let's see what his Garbodor wants to do. He could spike up. He could go for a, an offensive move versus Fiendsor. He does spike up. Yeah, I agree with that play because you want to wear down everything on the team. Well, oh, sorry about that. Uh, you want to wear down everything on the team. Um, you could decide to go out into maybe Gustlord now if you want to. He decides to go double to Scarf Houndoom. 
as ICT predicts that and goes for the Stomping Gentleman. Very, very nice play. Clink Clank comes out, which is also threatened by the Stomping Gentleman, which means it cannot set up as well. He decides to go into Palisand. Wow, as Clink Clank just sets up. This thing is a threat. I told Magnet Rise, yep, most of them run that. He doesn't predict that, doesn't go for the Shadow Ball, instead throw off an Earth Power. He kind of has the Shadow Ball here. Yeah. And now it becomes trouble. I'm gonna pause it here too. I don't know what happens. I have not seen this match yet at all. <laughs> and you've probably noticed from the way I'm uh, commentating it. But this Clink Clank could very well be Z move. Now, I don't know if Palisand takes a plus two gear grind, but I think it does. It does not, however, take a Z move. I seriously, seriously doubt that. Something is gonna have to die here. However, a Z plus V could choose to just click gear grind, predicting ICT to switch here. Uh, we obviously have not seen leftovers on Clink Clank. We have not seen any other move. Um, most of them run Z moves, so he could just throw it off here. Now, ICT could decide to switch out here, and Z plus V could predict it by clicking Gear Grind. However, if he clicks Gear Grind uh, without the w w with the Pedestal staying in, um, he takes uh, too much. He takes too much damage, basically. I'm pretty sure that a Vacuum Wave uh, from Toxico might pick it off there. I don't know if it picks it off from here. I kind of doubt it. I also don't know if it is Vacuum Wave, but it doesn't have any other priority. He does still have the aftermath from uh, from Gub yeah <laughs> from from the trash thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, staying in doesn't lose you that much, but I think I think it's safer to switch here. Maybe maybe into the bird Archaeops. Let's see what he does here. This is a very critical uh, point of the game. Mm -hmm. Now I personally would go out into Archaeops and second it off. Especially because there's, um, I mean, the Steelix is heavily weakened, but you're in defeatist anyway, right? He goes Garbodor on the Z move, which means he doesn't get the aftermath, and Shadow Ball does not kill it. We've already seen this. Magnet Rise does not wear off just yet, so if unless it's Life or Vacuum Wave, it's looking quite grim. Uh, Rocky Helmet Zato could still put it in range of the Shadow Ball, which is kind of nice. And he did go for the Corkscrew, Corkscrew Crash, so it's definitely the Gear Grind variant. Um, you also can't be uh, Z Wild Charge, by the way, which is so annoying. Because Magnet Rise, if you have Magnet Rise and Wild Charge and you have Electrium Z, you can't have th that combination because Z Magnet Rise actually raises your evasion. And evasion rises are prohibited in smoke on battles. So Electrium Z plus Magnet Rise is always uh, forbidden. So let's see what Ice goes out into here. He could decide to go out into his Pet Ascent again. Uh, but since it's not Rocky Helmet or whatever, um, I think he's going to have to stack his entire defensive core here. Now that's not too bad because his, his offensive core can definitely still win with the with the Goth Lord plus the the very threatening looking Toxicroak. The only thing stopping Toxicroak would be a Slowbro, but if it's a special variant with Nasty Pot, I think it just wins. Um, I can't really see what health uh, Venusaur is at right now, but I think he just needs to... he goes out to... He probably just wants to get off the Rocky Helmet on this thing. And then finish it off with the Shadow Ball from Palisand. Palisand will live, but it will die to every move after that. And then obviously Hariyama will become a problem. But I think Hariyama dies to every single mon on this team. Besides maybe he specs Dark Pulse. Well charge, yeah he is well charge. And he takes the Rocky Helm and that. So he's in range of every single move now. Yeah, is it is it Vacuum Wave Toxico? I'm really curious because special Toxico it could be so good for Zim. He goes slow, bro. Wow, he saves it. He dies to his spike, but he saves it. It is vacuum wave. Is it life orb? No. So it's probably Z move then. Um, probably Poisonium Z. Could be Phytonium. I don't like that too much. As he doubles to Hariyama on the Gust Lord, I'm assuming? No, on the Sludge Wave. Wow. Really good play. I, I should have known that because. But I was saying uh, he doubles to Hariyama predicting the Gust Lord, right? Because slow, bro always lures in the uh, Gust Lord. Uh, but now that his Hariyama is dead, Dark Pulse is, is extremely free. Both his Dark Resists are dead. So now that that happened, Gustlord is a great switch to Slowbro always because C plus V can't, <laughs> he can't make use of that anymore. So now I think you, you just go into Gustlord, you don't lose anything. Even if he switches, Clink Clank dies, you outspeed the Steelix, and, and Venusaur doesn't even kill you. Even if he throws off an Ice Beam, which he doesn't, even if he does that, you outspeed it and kill it. Uh, you should outspeed it and kill it. So you just throw off a Dark Pulse. It could very well be Cobra Slowbro. It probably is, since it's Z-Move Clink Clank. Um, I don't know if it lives one. It might, but it's not going to do any damage to you. So you don't lose anything from clicking Dark Pulse here. And I think Z plus V is in a terrible position right now. He is Cobra Berry. He eats it 56%. Wow, that does nothing. <laughs> he flinches, which is kind of annoying, but not, you know, you know I don't think it mattered. Clink Clank dies. He goes to Phoenix, I'm assuming. Yeah, it, there's nothing else really he could do. 
Um, you could decide to switch here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would have done too. Sludge bomb. You don't tank it. That's a. That does a lot of damage. Is that specs? Damn. I didn't expect sludge bomb to kill the Archeops. I don't know Archeops is bulk too well. I'm not too familiar with the Pokemon, but I didn't think it would kill. Uh, it could be specs. In any case, he goes out into this thing, clicks Nelson Bottom immediately. Sludge bomb. Yeah, that's specs. Okay. Uh, now you just click Sludge Wave, right? You don't lose anything. If you go Cedix, you just click Fucking Wave after. It's not that much of a problem. He clicks Nasty Blood again because he knew we could take another Sludge Wave anyway. So you just vacuum Wave here. He forfeits, yeah. And that's the whole game. And I see wins versus C plus V. I think that, that's a win for the Cryonicles, right? I'm also pretty sure that uh, Doc is gonna show it. Now, as I said at the, at the beginning, Kling Klang was gonna be a huge problem, and it was. Um, he should have, however, weakened, uh, he should have weakened probably Zatu more. Especially because he wild charged it, which makes sense because if you gear grind, you take two rocky helmets, but you also take the recoil, which I think was more than a rocky helmet even. <laughs> so I think gear grind was actually a better play. But since this was backing with toxic rogue anyway, I don't think it mattered in the long run because one rocky helmet hit would have brought it in range. Um, I think he should have got rid of at least the Satu with the rocky helmet first. Um, also setting up, I mean, I understand why I see earth power. I probably would have shared about myself there on the Clink Clank because pretty much like 90% of them carry uh, magic device nowadays. And yeah, Cryonicles did beat the Congregation and I don't even know what week this is, to be entirely honest. Week 5, I think. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's take one more look at the game before we end it off. Um, yeah, I think C plus V's matchup was very rough, especially because the Gust the Gustler was a really good bring. Um, Obviously the Hariyama tank Dark Pulses, but since it was Guts instead of AV, it didn't at all. Draco Meteor had no switch in, uh, but of course you lower your own special attack. The Archeops did not do anything at all, except find out that the uh, Hanu was indeed Scarf, which, you know, brought the Gus Lord in once again. And I think the Palisant would also, was also quite a good bring for ICT, because it was a good amount of uh, Z plus V's team. Um, only the Haunum really beat it. I guess, you know, Specs, <laughs> Specs Venus are also, but it would have to lock himself into Giga Drain, which versus the entire rest of the team wasn't really good. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and Doc for uploading, and I will see you next time. Later.